All right, we're pretty much good to go. Just gonna check something really fast. All right, we should be good to go then. If this cat, ugh, give me a sec. I gotta deal with this cat. What? Yeah, first one here, Gratz, man. Gratis. What the hell is that? Like weird shit on my keyboard. Okay, anyway. Okay, let's finish this game up. I can't do anything after that because I'm sick and I have exams. So, um, that's probably all I'll do today. Got a patch yesterday? What did they change? Yeah, damn it, Edgeworth. Your problem. Oh, they did? How did they modify them? Okay, what up, Gumshoe? Yep, guess I am. I'll come back later. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, what is it? If it's helpful information, we need it. We didn't call you. Yeah, Lana's having you run errands again. She asked me to give you this if there was a break in the trial. Evidence law. Okay, a book. Two rules. Rule one, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess we can study evidence law now. She wanted to give you a message. A message? She said, if you're planning to take him on, you're going to need this book. Oh, okay, MKV, that's cool. Securely slipped evidence law. <laughs> yep, we got we gotta turn it. Yeah, why are you still in there? Yeah, they're gonna- yeah, the real trial hasn't started yet. It's true. I think they're gonna try to kill Edgeworth. <laughs> hey, you're missing the point. Lana didn't murder Goodman. She merely stuck a knife into his dead body. Hey, pseudo. I saw that freaking Steam gift you gave me. Got a bunch of people being like, what the hell's wrong with you? But, eh. Hope you're having a good day, though. I'm gonna expose Gats. Hey. Iram. Yeah, I hey, Iram. What the hell? Screwed up. Failfish. Yeah, what up? The inquiry committee is planning to impose harsh penalties on you. Max, hey Kappa, huh? Thank you for the news. I already knew. Hey, MM Knight. Ahem, cough, cough. This isn't easy to say. There is some concern that Mr. Ed Edgeworth may have struck a bargain. It's possible. Everyone's been talking. Oh yeah, because I'm a judge and I listen to random rumors all the time. A solution? Oh, so we can call another witness. 
By the way, I'm just- I'll stop streaming once I finish this game, just because I have a lot of things I have to do today. Sorry if it'll be a short stream. Hopefully it won't be that short, but we'll see. What do you say? Yeah, he's putting it in my hands. We accept the proposal! Yeah, this is my last chance, yep. Defense calls... Meekins, because he's the answer. No, the correct answer is Gant. Damon Gant. The defense calls Damon Gant to the stand. Hey, Sweet Tea, how you doing today? It's true, he does have first-hand knowledge of the crime, so we should hear what he has to say. Yeah, as luck would have it, he's here! What do you know? And he, obviously, Edgeworth wouldn't have manipulated him. Well, maybe you should have stayed in five minutes ago, Rhea. Hey, Rob. Man, everyone's just coming into that. <laughs> Some kind of practical joke? I was just on my way to lunch. Yeah, what's your name and occupation? No, just say it. God damn it. My name is Damon Gant. I'm acting chief of police. Righto. It was 10 p.m.? Yeah. No, come on. Still some things unaccounted for. Either you're very brave or very foolish. Probably both. You have a bunch of weapons at your disposal. Take your testimony, for example. You don't have to give it if you don't want to. Really? He can choose not to testify. What a shit. Why does the chief of police have the right to refuse? Yeah, certain risks if you refuse to testify. This turns out to be a big waste of my time. Don't say I didn't warn you. Alright, let's go. SL9. As I recall, Neil and I were questioning him that day. To make a long story short, we slipped up. The power outage didn't help either. I'm not doing the franchise consecutively. Like, I'm not doing Phoenix Wright 1, Phoenix Wright 2, then Phoenix Wright 3 all in a row. When I'm finished this game, it next one is New Super Luigi U, because Nat requested it. Then Dark Cloud 2, after that, maybe a Pokemon game, but I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do after that. At this point, I've only planned up to Dark Cloud 2. Apparently, she'd already arranged the crime scene. And I'll sprint, I'll, like, add a little Mario Maker in every now and then, and some Splatoon for MKV on Saturday, hopefully. Okay, yeah, Dark was lying on the floor unconscious. Uh, what game is it? When Emma sent Neil flying, it seems Dark bumped his head. MKV, um, I would probably start with Red. I'd probably rather go in order with Pokemon games, as opposed to just start with Pearl. Also, Pearl is... No, you can request, absolutely. I'm just, you know, I have to fi fit these in at certain times, so... Um, I never said you couldn't request a game. It's just, in terms of Pokemon, I'd probably start with Red. I don't know, though. As I said, everything past Dark Cloud 2 is still kind of up in the air. I probably wouldn't play the same game twice. What's the, what's, what type of game is it, uh, Maria? Ultima Ruins of Virtue 2. Yeah, if the police chief has the right to refuse to testify, then you better hit him hard. Yep. Hard and fast.
He requested him that day. What the fuck? I recall a ceremony was held. Yep. Guess you could say you're a workaholic. After winning the award, Neil was all fired up too. That's probably what spooked Dark and made him run away. Yeah, was Lana Sky also in the room? You don't remember. Hey, Mark, how you doing, man? RPG? Partners in Time is also a game I would consider as well. If it's an RPG, I'd absolutely consider playing it. I'd have to do a little more research on it first, Maria, before I would do it, because, yeah. Um, but yeah, as I said, there are a lot of games I could play, but I have to figure out which ones I seriously want to consider at this moment. Um, so give me a little time to figure it out. She wasn't there when Dark ran. To make a long story short, we slipped up. The power outage didn't help either. Two of you ran immediately after him. Yeah, um, absolutely. I'll, I'll take those games into consideration. It just, um... As I said, it depends on when I want to put them. Dark made it to the elevator first. Yeah, I know, I haven't done one since Superstar Saga. Alright, I will, Maria. Um, yeah, I will not stream a 3DS game because... Maybe there's an emulator out there, but... Yeah, I'd have to pay $500 to get a 3DS one. A 3DS capture card. So. Okay, Dark made it to the ele elevator first, so Neil and you split up. He went upstairs and you went downstairs. I guess you could say he got lucky. Now, what about the power outage? The elevator stopped all of a sudden and you got the shock of your life. Hey, Gargamer! I, yeah, I could play Partners in Time. And Bowser's Inside Story, I think. When I went to my office, I found Lana there. Alright. Hold it. A.V. Hey, Grobster, how you doing, man? Yes, what did you see? A shocking sight. Neil and that serial killer uh, were lying in a heap on the floor, all tangled together. It's because um, that site also gives you a 3DS, so it's like you're buying one. Dark was also lying collapsed on the floor. Apparently he hit his head and was knocked out. Really? Next to them were those two poor girls, Lana and Emma. Lana was cradling Emma in her arms. Looking back at it now, she must have already known what her sister had done. There's a lot of human in here. And Moobot talks right after. Apparently she'd already arranged the crime scene. Because of the victim's body, I had already been removed. Oh, the victim's body had already been removed. You found the body near Lana's desk? That's right. I think you said earlier, it was my suit of armor. That really stabbed the prosecutor? Yeah. Yeah, but we found out that it was right... It was on Gant's side. But I like staring at people. Shameless flog, banhammer. Shameless plugs to a point. Like, sometimes I'll allow some people to plug themselves. But, as I've said, it's like... If, if I want to plug you, I will plug you. And that sounds really bad, the way I just said that. So, pretend I said that in the most innocent way possible.
Hmm. No, that's wrong. Crap, I don't remember if I saved. Whatever. Yeah, you have to play with that Japanese guy who always kills you. Hey, Ben Bear, it's been a while, man. Okay, apparently she had already arranged the crime scene. When I went to my office, I found Lana there. Hey, Nat, how you doing? I didn't do it fast enough this time. Nothing to do with the forgery. Okay, it's not the attorney's badge, it's not this, it's not that, 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 it's not that. It's not the phone, I don't think. It's not, is it the knife? No. F minus. His freaking Rainbow gave that to me. Okay, we got it. Oh yeah, because he had it in the safe. My brain's a little frazzled. Explain yourself. Why can't you wait for Friday? Yeah, there was a part of the jar in your safe. I like how you can just say that and not get arrested for, like, breaking and entering and stealing stuff. Yeah, the ev oh, I guess you can present the evidence list, too. Yep, we found the evidence list in your desk. Are both concrete proof that you also played a part? Pointing. You're going out for Chinese for a friend's birthday and there's gonna be sushi? I hate sushi. Hey, what the hell, Gans? Yeah, now I can shower with the dad I never had. <laughs> You're a meanie. Bringing up painful memories, I'm just kidding. Who, me? Or do you mean you? Wait, me? Yeah. You were the one who snuck into my office and found this evidence. Oh, so now you're you're accusing me of forging evidence. Oh, that's cool. Objection to your bullshit. Detective Gumshoe was Gumshoe was present during the investigation. Blah. That's true. I just hate sushi. Dicks will receive their due punishment. Remember that, everybody. Yeah, he'll end up paying to work if he... Yeah, he makes, like, nothing now, anyway. Yes. Alright, here we go. You love sushi. Ugh. Ugh, sadness. I haven't eaten much sushi, to be honest. I could like it, I could not. I'm still not willing to go for it right now. Jar fragment a list. For all I know, you could have planted them in my office. Anyway, you can't prove when those pieces of evidence were discovered. They were found after Dark was convicted. Then they're worthless. There's no reason I'd participate in a forgery. Rearranging the crime scene wouldn't help me out in any way. The freaking tongue emote's broken for me. You only eat salmon and tuna? You'll have, to, you'll have to introduce me to sushi sometime. And no internet pictures of sushi, that's not enough. Yeah, you should be more careful not to break into shit. 
<laughs> Just to get evidence. Yeah, today's kind of a trial. That place? What? For all I know, you could have planted it in my office. Anyway, you can't prove when those pieces of evidence were discovered. If they were found after Dark was convicted, they're worthless. There is no reason I participate in a forgery. Yeah, I wouldn't have the guts to do something like that. I'll have you know, back in the day, I once broke into a cattle ranch and tipped over a cow. I'm having an alright day. I'm starting to get a little sick, and I had a midterm that I did okay on. And I have another exam, but... Can't prove you didn't carry any evidence. If you have proof to the contrary, you're going to need it later. I look forward to it. I look forward to it. Oh, I'll put it on my calendar. And what do you mean by feeding it to me? Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. Moving on because you know PG stream. Hey, I, I have, since when have I had thirteen hundred twenty-four tips before that one? They're found inside your safe. That would prove your investigation was illegal. <laughs> Mark, do I have to double sue you for um, hurt feelings? No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Or maybe I'm not. <laughs> She'll just bring a giant salmon and shove it down my throat? Okay. Yeah, suppose you did place it in the safe. Such an act wouldn't necessarily constitute forgery. Hmm. Concealing evidence found that a crime isn't forgery, then I don't know what is. All depends on when the evidence was discovered. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Maria, I'm not available for that, unfortunately. Oh, did I just go there? Yeah, I did. Am I actually that self-centered? Probably not. Yeah, if it wasn't discovered, it would appear not. After all, it wasn't listed on the evidence list. For all we know, it could have been suddenly materialized the day after Dark was sentenced. Okay, I suddenly have proof. Ouch. Think about it. Can you look me in the eye and say that? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. My innocence. <laughs> Who is it that murdered Neil? Yeah, stop using the word murder. Yeah, Emma Sky did it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, you became the chief of police from this benefit. He does have a motive. You have to chug your meds. Yo, Nat, did you get the que the question I asked on Skype earlier? It's really serious. <laughs> and by really serious, I mean not serious at all. Well, yeah, I do think you're kind of dumb. You're an asshole, anyway. Even out that case, you were already in line to become the next chief. The resolution of SL9 merely sped up the inevitable title. Or, inevitable a little. So, what's the verdict? I, I don't know what the verdict is. Oh, you just saw it, okay. Yeah, he was gonna be made chief anyway, because he's tall and he wears an orange coat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Careful where you point, or I'll point back at you. 
You're seriously confused? Okay, so like, um, if, if someone was writing a poem, and they used, and on one line they wrote hair, and on the other line they wrote care, if you were judging a poem, would you see that, would you accept that as a rhyme, or would you accept it as cheating, in trying to get a rhyme? You didn't do it for yourself. You did it for someone else. You know me better than that. There are only three people I look out for. Me, myself, and I. But you said that you if somebody you won't needed 50 bucks, you'd give them 50 bucks. Think it's cheating? That's what I thought. I was like, totally cheating. Or like, bullshit laziness. Man. My walks home are pretty amazing, because I, cause I think of these things. But that's not allowed! You'd have to use the word hair like the bunny hair. In order to be able to rhyme it with care. The only person you care about is yours truly. That girl, Lana's little sister, was it? If you think I felt sorry for her, you better think again. You're right. You don't feel sorry for her. Be tough on crime and tough on people. That's how I was raised. You seem to be lax enough on yourself, though. Oh ho ho, that's a good one. Yeah, I think it's cheating. Point out the accomplice! Yeah, if it benefited you, you would. Um, we found out that, um, Gantz might have done the forgery because he was trying to... Because he thought it was in it... Something was in it for him. So he assisted someone else to help them. Because it would help him. It's gotta be Lana Sky. Yeah. The sky fell victim to an unfortunate series of events. Not a series of unfortunate events to be, you know, twisted, but anyway. He would also have a reason to help Lana if she asked him to. Yeah, so that she, he could control the district attorney's office. Yeah, Lana Sky was appointed chief prosecutor, and the person who arranged the job change was Gant. So... Yeah, he would be able to use her as a puppet, so yeah. Yep, he'd basically have super power over everything. Despite the Chief's formidable appearance, he plays with puppets. <laughs> Come on, Judge. Come on. Oh, wait a minute! You must mean puppet isn't someone forced to do their bidding! Good job. Good job. We'll point her as Chief Prosecutor so you can control her! Da -da -da. All right. Well, I guess not. The question is, would it be cheating by me if I did it? Not that I'd ever do something that low, because, you know, of course I'm a wordsmith. <laughs> of, uh, high, of a high reputation in some circles, even though most of them are just me. Yeah, she won't- yeah, she'll keep quiet to protect Emma. This incident? Wait, if I did, then yes it would be cheating, or it wouldn't be cheating? The murder of Bruce Goodman! Yeah, true. Almost as if someone has been controlling her. She has been doing weird stuff. Absolutely. If you said care and fair, it's just... It's the same as doing hair and care. It's even worse, actually, because fair doesn't have a word, doesn't have an alternative spelling, and a different meaning that rhymes with care. So, I'm sorry, I would have to, I would have to make that even worse.
I think it is cheating, but... Whoa, physical harm! <laughs> Threatening, come on. Yes, he's he's making her cover the rap. Care and bear? No. Hair and care is worse than fair and care? I feel like it's the same. If you're trying to pass it off as a rhyme, then it's the same because... Well, it's almost the same because it's not a rhyme. Hair care. What if you say it with a British accent? Hair care. You know? Like that? It sounds like it almost should rhyme. You can't be serious. This is an affront to the highest ranking officer in the law enforcement agency! Accuse the chief of police of blackmail and murder. That's impossible! Why? It sounds like it's close though to me. Hair care? Because think of the word hair as an H A R E. Hair care! <laughs> Yeah, an easier to understand language, yeah. I'm trying to deflect blamed Edward. Yeah, we're already here. We gotta go. Time to challenge them. Oh, you can't you can't hide behind that. You speak like fifty languages. May I might object to that. Maybe I won't, though. Is he a criminal? I believe evidence will tell. Okay, what- what links Gantz? I, <laughs> I'm just jelly because I can't. I I know understand comprende anglais, um, senorita, por favor. Okay. Hey, Freeze, how you doing, man? Okay, it's not this, 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 could be this, it's not this, it's not this, it ain't this, it ain't this, it ain't this, it ain't this. Mr. Freeze, Fabrizio! It's not that, it's not that, could be the jar. It's not the report, it's not the floor plans, it's not the prints, it's not the video, it's not the rubber glove, it's not the SL9 case file. It's not that. I can't use this. It's not that. Crap. Uh, oh, first fishing link of the day. Oh, I gotta use my brain here, come on. Hey, what's up, Sam? How you doing? That's not it either. God damn it, I have to use my brain a little better. What the hell? I know, okay, I know for sure 
It's none. It's not any of these eight things. Not this. It's not this. It's not this. It's definitely not this. It's not this. Oh, this. Maybe. There we go. There we go. I remember now. Seven, 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 seven. Nah, no way I can prove that's your card number. How is it your number? Because the safe I broke into illegally had the number as a password. Are we just ignoring the fact that I broke into a room and opened the safe? Alright, see you later, uh, Maria. Yes, you entered the evidence room on the day of the crime. Oh, now he's mad. Oh yeah, I was showering today, and my cat was in there, and I tried to let him- and I didn't let him out for a while, so he peed on my clothes. <laughs> By the way, just random thing. Fences search of your office was a violation of regulation. <laughs> Maximum extent of the law. Right now, the court demands an explanation from you, about the use of this ID card. Best lawyer ever? Yeah, I just- I just trial and error. If it doesn't work, I'm just like, whoops, didn't mean that. Let's go to this one. Yes, you did. What about it? I'm chief of police. Yeah. I can go anywhere I want. When you entered the room, were you alone? You always go to the bathroom alone, as you do at the evidence room. <laughs> What's How are you doing, Rob, by the way? Of course Goodman wasn't there. I hadn't seen him for days. I don't know. Why did he undo himself? Objection. Objection. No. This trial's purpose is to determine the truth. Which we keep hiding behind over and over again. Yes, what happened during the meeting? Here we go. Bam. Hey, he lost his ID card. He would have had to have used it. Um, gone to submit the report to the chief. Hey, he would have had to give the report to the chief of police. How do you know? Because he needed to enter the evidence room that day. Oh, you haven't, have you? Yeah, he needed to, because he was transferring stuff. You accompanied the detective into the evidence room! Okay. There's no other way the murderer and Detective Goodman could have entered the room. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he didn't have to. He could have just lent him his ID card. Oh, you mentioned it? I did exactly that! Because, you know, whatever. That's not possible. Why isn't that possible? According to the record, your card was only used once. But you showed us your ID card earlier. You'd really lent it to Detective Goodman. Yeah, it would have been found on his body. Whoa, what the fuck? Just got... Ugh. Murder was most likely c committed on the spur of the moment. No one in their right mind would choose the police department as a place to commit murder. After that, you contacted Lon at the prosecutor's office to dispose of the de of Detective Goodman's body. However, the victim's body was discovered in the prosecutor's office parking lot. How did he manage to move it then? Now, everyone's aware that Lana stayed at the prosecutor's office after the ceremony, so how did that get there? Yeah, you have an entire police force. You just had underlings do it. Hey, you, take this here dead body over to the prosecutor's office.
Oh, thanks for the follow on Twitter, uh, Sam. Chief Gant used? Oh, the only useless thing is this parking stub. Yeah, the parking stub. I thought it was pretty useless for a while, too. Yeah, the body was found in Edgeworth's car, so he must have snuck it into the back and had Edgeworth drive there. Yes, yeah, so you carried the victim's body. You didn't know. Yes, but Gant asked you to move that screwdriver. Ah, sometimes that happens. Some people assume I'm talking about the Koopalings, I don't. And another fishing link. Hey, yeah, you were asked to go by Gant to remove- to transfer the evidence. On the day of the incident, I brought this to the prosecutor's office. Hey, you took the body! In the trunk. That was a smart plan. Did these guys spend like five days planning these crimes? Yes, why else would you have had to carry that screwdriver? Transport the body to your accomplice, Miss Lana Sky. It's not outrageous. Uh, some people know it. This was not... This was... A not a photo? Okay, bad translation. Does this game have multiplayer? No, it does not. It was exactly the opposite. She was taking it out of the trunk. I believe... Your time's up. Sorry, but I'm having lunch with a district attorney general after this. Yeah, we have to keep going. I just don't want to do anything. I object to your early bird specialness. And yeah, he can choose not to testify. Crap, you're invoking that in the middle of this. Yeah, you're just gonna run away. Yes, I did. Then show your proof and get it over with. How much was this game? I'm emulating it at the moment, but... Uh, it's an old game. Back in the day, it was probably about 40 bucks. I can't remember what... I have it on the DS, I just don't remember what I, um... Uh, bought it for. Do I have proof? Without beyond... Without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, I need proof. How do I get the proof? I'll let you be the judge, but I am the judge! Yeah, this is an old game.
Sure, I have evidence. Okay, it's not the attorney's badge, it's not the parking stub, I don't think. wrong. thought it might be because it was written on his memo thing, but... Okay, just gotta think about this. Okay. Uh, it's not the ID, it's not the King of Prosecutors Award, I don't think. It's not the knife. Look at the autopsy report. Damn. It has to be conclusive. God damn. Could be the the jar. No, it's not. Welcome back, Sam. Let's see, like, let's see if I say that I don't have any proof yet. Not to be penalized. Objection. Objection? Lady Luck, maybe we should have a word with her. Hey Stormy, how you doing? Alright, so that was right. Because I believe what happens is, um, you can use the handprint from Emma if you want, I think, but if you do, you lose. But that might be later. Yeah, we gotta call Lana Sky, I think. We're calling, uh, Lana Sky, yep. Got your new phone today? How is it? Tort will now take its final recess of the day. Hold on! Chief Gant's back again, for some reason. Isn't good, Lana. I don't think you need me to tell you this, but if you accept Mr. Wright's claim, there will be terrible con- Oh, you can't just say that in court! What are you, a shithole? Your sister will be found guilty for Neil Marshall's murder. Now nah, I'm gonna leave. Yeah, and as a judge, I'm just gonna let this happen!
Yeah, thanks, Edward. He is pretty corrupt and shit. Yeah, I called him a shithole. Oh, you're not a detective anymore? Damn. I'm gonna work at your office. I'd love to have him in my office. Not even kidding. Sure, I'll take the place of that top knotted girl you used to work with. Alright. Gumshoe and Phoenix rights. Attorneys at law. Yeah, what, what are the consequences of refusing to testify? If the chief refuses to testify, the opposite also holds true. Yeah, he forfeits his right to say anything. Emma, are you okay? Yeah, when I came to, I was in the medical office. Somehow relieved that you murdered a guy by accident? Okay. And yeah, now you finally know what really happened, though. Yeah, so at least it means your sister's not super evil. Yeah, perhaps she changed because, yeah, she had to distance herself or else it would have hurt more. That wasn't your fault. You just pushed someone. Yeah, blame society. Society let you down. Yep, time for the final act. She's gonna come with us. Time to end this. Yeah, this is really the last, the last trial. I thought the other one was the last one, this is the last one. Trial Ladder 2. Obama! <laughs> yes, you're the chief prosecutor. I'm sure you're aware of what is required of you. Yes, you're under oath, so don't lie, but you're gonna lie anyway. Yes, tell us about Gant. Gant and the fabrication. I worked alongside Gant for years. There's no truth to this blackmail theory. I fabricated the evidence two years ago all by myself. When I found the prosecutor Marshall's body, I rearranged the crime scene. My only motivation was to get Dark convicted. It had nothing to do with Emma. Uh, what? Stop lying! Yeah, she's not telling the truth. She's lying. Just cuz. Whenever she sees st stiffly like that, she's hiding something. Worked a long time Gant for years. Okay, let's talk about that. How many years? Ever since you made Senior Detective. 24 then, so 5 years. Yeah, we know about their legendary partnership. Doesn't mean just because Mia and you went there means everyone who came out of there was good. Damon Gant was a respectable detective. That's why. There's no truth to this blackmail theory. Bullcrap! Think about it. You didn't murder Detective Goodman. You told me as much yesterday in jail. Still don't get it. Any testimony you cannot present in court is, a use is as useless as idle gossip. I stabbed Detective Goodman with the knife. Yeah, you'd think it means he thinks to himself, which means everyone can read his mind. I fabricated the evidence two years ago all by myself. Yeah, did you do so to help your sister? Joe Dark was a serial killer. My sister almost became his last victim that day. I didn't want that incident to ruin her life. Yeah, what she did was justifiable self-defense. She wouldn't have been charged with anything. 
Well, because of that creep. Really? You gonna buy that shit? Okay, you rearranged the crime scene. How did you rearrange it? Seems you were the first person to discover the scene. The, broke, the broken prosecutor award knife was stuck in the victim's body. But the prosecutor marshal died from an unfortunate accident. Yeah, why is it in him? It's only a situation you dreamed was possible. The reality is, it wasn't my sister who took the prosecutor's life. Fantasize all you want, Mr. Wright, but I'll never change this statement. Something like that. Yeah, what happened to the other murder weapon? Dark was carrying a switchblade knife. It was probably knocked away in the struggle. Okay. You broke off the tip of Dark's knife, planted it inside the wound, and then moved the body. How did you move the body? Yeah, why would you do that? Why did you move the body? It was where you deduced it was, by Chief Gant's desk. Yeah, the body was found on your desk. Or by your desk. Why'd you move it there? reason for that is simple. Hey, welcome back, man. The pieces of the jar that shattered during the events threatened your plan. Alright. Yes. That wretched jar Mr. Wright showed us earlier. In order to show that Dark committed the crime, I felt it would be more expedient to move the body. So, when you first found the body, the jar was already... Of course, it had been shattered to pieces. If you looked at the crime scene, it would have been clear right away what happened. Neil Marshall was dead, and Dark was lying unconscious. In other words, the jar must have been broken during their struggle. Yeah. He made this fabrication completely alone. Yeah, hold it. What have you done is unpardonable. There's nothing you can do to make up for your actions. Okay, we're gonna save here. The jar was already shattered.
Okay, it's not this, it's not this, it's not this, this. Could be this. It's not this, this, or this. Could be the cell phone. But I, no, it's not. It's not this. That could be it. Oh, you got it. Freeze, you got it right. My brain's not working today, but thanks, you got that. Yeah, you're compelled to bring everyone's attention to a significant contradiction Freeze found. The pieces of the jar that shattered during the events threatened my plan. That's right. Prosecutor must have written it in their final moments. Wait, oh, I get it now. No, oh, absolutely. In order for the victim to be able to write the message, it had, yeah, it had to not have been broken. He couldn't have written Emma's name on the jar. Yeah, we may be missing something. Yes. Tell us what actually happened. Jar and message in blood. I immediately noticed the blood traces on the jar. But it was dark in the room and I didn't have time to check it out. To be safe, I wiped away the blood. The fragments were large, so I'm sure I got them all. All I could think about was wiping them clean before they were discovered. But you didn't get all of them. You missed one. If it was dark, how did you notice them? <laughs> feeble as the defense's case, but not as feeble as the judge's judgment. Normally you would have, but... It was dark in the room, you didn't have time to check it out. Yeah, exactly, that's kind of weird. If you had known, you would have gathered all the pieces and ground them to dust. You just barely had enough time to move the body as it was. If someone happened upon the scene, you'd lose your chance to erase the evidence. You must have been in a hurry. I knew I had to destroy the evidence before anyone came. If you really thought Dark killed Prosecutor Marshall, you wouldn't have wiped away the, the blood. You only had a few moments. There wasn't enough time for me to do anything else but gather up the pieces. Yeah, how could you see with the power-up? Detective is always prepared. Even now, I always carry a pocket light and a camera with me. You didn't get every last piece. Yeah, you can still be buddies. enough time to check it out.
To be safe, I wiped away the blood. The fragments were so large, I'm sure I got them all. But you didn't get them all. You missed one. And you wouldn't have missed that detail. At least that's what I'm thinking. Like, if she had the light, she wouldn't have missed one. So how could she have not found it? That's my argument here. Got her. Alright, I'm still somewhat mentally okay for doing this. Now we find the final piece, so... Yeah. Yeah, she didn't know. There was still blood on it. Yeah, she wouldn't have missed it. Yeah, you were not the first one to show up on the scene. Chief Gant got there before you did, yeah. No, she had the light. She wouldn't, and the camera. She wouldn't have missed it. Yeah, they're too big. Everyone makes mistakes. I Even I once wasted an entire day looking for my dentures. They were in my mouth all along. Oh, that sounds totally like you, Judge. When this witness arrived at the scene, the jar was already broken. There's no way a name could have been written on a shattered jar. Another person discovered the scene prior to the witness. If he did arrive there first, why did he hide that fact? No! Nah! Why are you saying no? You're not even... It's not even bad for you. Wait, I'm not the one on trial here. Whoops. So Gant arrived, broke the jar, and purposely hid one of the broken pieces. What is this action called? Fabrication. <laughs> Discovering the scene, Lana and Scott Lana and Scott believed her sister Emma killed the victim. Determined to help her sister, she sought Gant's aid. Ob A S K S Objection. Lending her his aid, Gant helped create evidence that inc incarcerated or incinerated him. Wearing Emma, and here's the reason. The reason why Miss Sky became the chief's puppet. Because she thought of that. You didn't do it on your own. Stop lying! You didn't kill anyone. Don't believe anything Wright says. Defense attorneys make up the most foul lies to defend their clients. Ouch. Hey, I don't like to twist the truth that much. Yeah, what if we're smack dag in the middle of Gant's trap? Yeah, she may be right. So I do tell foul lies, oh absolutely. Yeah, that would hurt. Please testify once more. If evidence was fabricated behind your back, then Emma's accidental killing in of Prosecutor Marshall might also be a lie. You can't, I refuse. Nothing to be afraid of anymore. However, there is a possibility that it will change things if you tell the truth. Very well, I'll testify. About what you really saw. Alright, so no issues with uh, lying. Final time. Actual crime scene. When you arrived, you found Mr. Marshall's body impaled on the suit of armor sword. Emma and Dark were lying unconscious on the floor nearby. When I saw what had happened, I thought she did it. That's why I erased all the evidence that linked her to the murder. I had Chief Gant help me remove the body from the sword and carry it. But it all if it all really was a fabrication, Emma might be innocent. Unbelievable. The body was impaled on the armor's sword. I do have proof. I gave it to Mr. Wright just this morning. Yep, it's a picture I took of the crime scene as I encountered it. I thought it might be needed.
Alright. Let's check this. Oh, there it is! Ah, what do you know? Well, that's proof. No other detective saw the crime scene like this. That's because I contacted Criminal Affairs only after I rearranged the scene. Yep. It's Emma's handprints. Whoever's fingerprints those are must be the real murderer. I don't think so. She doesn't know they're hers, though. Wait, I didn't even get to say anything. There was just a hold it. And now Gant's back. The poorest excuse for a trial I've ever seen. I object to you. You're not allowed to say anything. Hey, you already declined testimony. That means you forfeited your right to make statements of any sort. Gah! A lightning strike! You don't need to make any statements. The evidence will do all the talking for me. Even if I can't testify, I can still present evidence. Really? No, I don't. But someone does. So then what's your excuse, Rido? I haven't been keeping quiet about it. You do have something to show, to show us, right? Something that proves who knocked over Neo Marshall causing his death. Conclusive evidence that leaves no room for doubt. If you try to conceal anything, you will be the one appearing before the Board of Inquiries. What do I do now? I better think this through. Did I present that piece of evidence? Okay, this is the one trick in the game that they do that's opposite of what you're normally used to. If you show the handprint fingerprint thing, you'll immediately lose the trial. So what you have to do is lie and say that you don't know what the fuck he's talking about. I don't have any evidence I can present at this point in time. You lie, why do I lie? You opened my safe. I know you took what was inside. The conclusive evidence. I don't know what you're talking about, man. You're crazy. Because you know the truth, don't you? You know whose fingerprints are on it, and that's why you won't present it. What are you talking about, Gant? Looks like part of it's been cut off, yeah. Yeah, you were concealing evidence. Biggest scandal in the history of the police department. Ever. Impressive. To be honest, I didn't think you had the gall. Yep. I'll tell you what really happened. He's gonna admit to it. You were the first person to arrive at the crime scene that day, and then it occurred to me that I could use the situation to control Lana. You really were manipulating her. I knew Lana. If I made it look like the blame lay on her sister, when she saw the scene she would ask me for my aid. So you assisted Miss Skye. I told her to arrange all the evidence. I had her plant the knife tip in the victim's body and move the body across the room. You ended up using that evidence to get Joe Cart Dark convicted. When we arranged the crime scene, I hid two pieces of evidence. I did this before Lana arrived at the scene. For insurance. Oh, you let, you hid them for insurance. You were sure your plan would work, but it's best to be prepared for the worst. You weren't about to let anyone blame me for a murder that girl committed. You didn't get- yeah, you didn't make chief of police by dumb luck.
I didn't expect her to wipe all the blood off. Objection! Yeah, if you fabricated all the evidence, what's to say you didn't fabricate the message? Yeah. Some people just don't know when to quit. That's why I kept one more item for insurance. That piece of cloth? I don't have it! You were hiding the cloth you cut from the victim's vest in your safe. A lot better than being portrayed as a murderer. You said you didn't have any evidence you could present. Yeah, we lied. It's been a long battle. But now we can finally reveal it. Show it! On the day of the crime, you personally cut out this piece of the victim's vest. Yes, at last you finally brought it out to the open. Yeah, there must have been a strong impact. It could not have been forged. It must be authentic, conclusive evidence. I could have presented it, but I didn't. Yeah. It should be okay now. Everything's proceeding as predicted because I'm amazing. Yeah, they're Emma's fingerprints. Yep. Why didn't you tell me? Because... I don't know. You were already kind of fainted. I did know. And I still tried to pin it on you, but you did do it. It's tragic, but true. Hold it! I'm a monster! It's not over yet. Your career is over too! You purposely con concealed conclusive evidence. That, my friend, is a serious offense. Looking forward to pressing charges after the defendant is convicted. I'll have your badge, boy. Yeah, why aren't I speaking? How it feels to be the one who single-handedly turned the poor little girl into a murderer? Before I do that, there's just one little thing we have to clear up. Who really killed Prosecutor Neil Marshall? What? Yeah, hey, you're right. This piece of cloth proves who the real murderer was. Who killed Neil Marshall, you ask? It was Emma Scott, wasn't it? No. It's not possible. <laughs> Orange pimp. This piece of cloth contains a critical contradiction. One that proves who the real killer is. Your tyrannical raid ends here! Oh, that wasn't right. Okay, let's go for the actual serious one. Take that! Ah, there we go. This is the picture Miss Sky took. Yep. See where the piece of his vest is cut out? Yes. His shirt is showing underneath. Yeah, there's- oh, there's no blunt on it. Yeah, there's no blood on it. Since Emma Sky's fingerprints are on this cloth, there's no doubt that she shoved the prosecutor. 
Yeah, he was not impaled on the sword. <laughs> Prosecutor Marshall was not impaled when he was shoved aside. He most likely hit his head on the ground and was knocked out. So then tell me, who could it, who could it have been? Who could have arrived at the scene before Sky? It would have had to have been Gan. So you picked him up and you impaled him on the sword. <clears throat> and to make it look like Emma was responsible for the prosecutor's death, you said person proceeded to write her name on a jar with the victim's blood. Then he broke the jar on purpose to leave behind a clue. To make Lana believe her sister did it. Yeah, you, you admitted you personally cut out the bloodless piece of the victim's vest. Yeah, you're when you tried to create insurance, you actually screwed yourself. No. Yeah, we got him. Or not, someone's objecting. Objection! Yeah, we almost had- damn, we're not done yet. You refute your allegations? You see, that piece of cloth is illegal evidence. I don't think it is. Illegal evidence cannot be used to convict a suspect, remember? <laughs> yeah, he, we concealed it so it became illegal. Sort of. In that moment, the cloth became le illegal. Yeah, assuming it was illegal. This is the final blow. I did not! Yeah, it's not illegal. If we remember from a long time ago in the trial. It's not that you didn't present the evidence, it's that you couldn't. There are certain procedures involved when presenting evidence. He's nothing but a coward, you can't let him! Is this evidence legal or not? That's the only thing left we have to prove. Alright, if we look at this, there's two laws. No evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department, and unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the trial. So, based on what I'm understanding here, um, if the police chief consents to it, that evidence is now legal, and the second rule, um, it's only relevant because he brought up the relevance. So, we got him. Evidence law. Yeah, I read it even though I didn't read it. At that point in time, this was merely a piece of cloth, yeah. The second rule of evidence law. No evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. I found this piece of evidence myself and you're safe. It goes without saying, I did not have the approval of the police department. Unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the trial. And here is the crux of the matter. Hey, you couldn't, pr you couldn't prove the relevance between the clock and the SL9 incident. Exactly! You just, you just brought it up. Yeah, when was the picture presented? It was shown only a few moments ago. Yep, so now we now it became relevant evidence. Yeah, the piece of cloth was meaningless at the beginning. So Gant gave it value. You yourself confessed to a certain truth. On the day of the crime, you personally cut out this piece of the victim's vest. Yes, I did. And now it becomes relevant was then that you approved the cloth as conclusive evidence. 
The only person who could have cut this from the victim's vest is the one who stood before the prosecutor marshal in his final moments. In other words, the real murderer, and there's only one person that could be, and that's Gant. The killer was you! Wahahaha! Ha 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 ha
Yes, thank you, Edgeworth, as well. Even though you're a prosecutor, you were doing defense stuff. And you suffered, too. Eh, it was nothing, you know, just another day at the park. You were worried the pressure might break you, and yet, you rose above it all and guided Mr. Wright to victory. Done well, Edgeworth. Stop, stop, uh, complimenting me, I'm not used to it. Seems a good self-examining is in order for all of us. You are innocent of murder, however. Although the chief blackmailed you, the fact is you still acted as a accomplice. A trial will be scheduled for these crimes at a later date. Now why are you smiling? It's been a long time. A long time since you felt free of these heavy chains. Yeah, this- it has gone on a long-ass time. Find her? Not! Guilty! Yeah, we did it! More celebratory streamer things. This- this case took longer than all the other cases combined. At long last, we finally did it. Let me just save here. Just a bullshit dramatic tension. Yeah, why the long face? Your sister didn't get completely off the hook. But at least she wasn't convicted of murder. No. You're sad. After the trial ended... I can see why MFA thought so highly of you. I owe you my thanks, Mr. Ray. And to you too, Edgeworth. But not to you, Mia, because you didn't do anything. Yeah, cliffhanger. I'm an asshole like that. You did your best too, but, well, of course, you didn't really do that much. And Gumshoe's here again. Oh, bringing up a moment again? Time to leave. I'll come back later. Gumshoe, get your ass back here. Yeah, we pretty much are. No, it was Lana again. Seen happier people at funerals again. Not this time. You came today because of us, okay. Or Emma. Thought you'd like to see someone? Oh. Hey, there she is. Yeah, I know. She did a lot of really good stuff off screen to help him become a lawyer, man. And she's still under arrest, but we can talk to her. I owe you an apology. It's okay. That day two years ago was the first time in your life you ever panicked. It was all I could do to keep myself from screaming. All I could think about was keeping you from getting wrapped in a mess. You asked Gant to help me cover up the truth. I thought I was doing it for your sake, but now I realize I was wrong. I changed after that day. Yes, you did. You had to. It was the only way you could make it through the past two years. I knew how much I was hurting you by distancing myself, but I couldn't bring myself to tell you what I did. You were scared. Scared that you'd look at me with those eyes of yours. I was scared of how you'd react if you do. Ah, yeah, you were only doing it for her. Oh, you turned your back that day in hiding what you believed to be the truth. You were deceiving her. It's okay. I'm happy now. You always knew that one day you'd come back, and now you have. Hurrah! Yay! Super hugs! No one can change the path. The, path. the only thing we can strive is to make up for our mistakes. Why must we make up for our mistakes? Because in so doing, we can find the way back to our path, and once we found our path, we can move on from our past mistakes towards a brighter future. Blah! That was long. Dumb shoe too. Thank you both for all you've done. Hugs of truth, yeah. I'm sure we'll meet again someday. Not right, Edgeworth. Edgeworth was here. <laughs> he was just hiding. Yeah, where was he hiding? He just came to say congratulations. Thank you, Edgeworth. Yeah, time to leave. Yeah, 
Yeah, don't blame yourself. Yeah, you were the ones who acted corruptly. It's too late for me. No matter what anyone may say, I realize today that I can't change my own mistakes. Not only that, but I don't even trust myself anymore. Chief Gant was right. He despised criminals, I can feel it. You and me were the same. One day you'll understand. No, don't give him to the dark side! I do despise criminals. I plan to dedicate my entire life to fighting them. But in order to fight crime alone, one needs a weapon. It's scary, but I've been thinking the same thing for quite some time now. You're not alone, you're fighting with me too. It terrifies you that you could have become Gantt. And don't you understand? Damon Gantt and your mentor, are Manfred von Karma. We're both the best of the best when it came to fighting crime, but they both made the same mistake. Yeah, think back to the trial. You weren't alone. Now for another cliffhanger, just cause, why not? I like messing with you guys. Yeah, you weren't alone. Yeah, you're working together with me. Because of that partnership, we were able to provide evidence that otherwise would have gone undiscovered. Yes, teamwork for all! What is this, a pop quiz? Show, show him the evidence. That Edgeworth, that neither of us would have been able to find on our own. The answer is the evidence list, because he had half and we had half. A picture you drew. Our counterattack began with this. You had one half of the evidence list and I had the other. Part we wouldn't, we wouldn't have been able to completely restore the picture. Yeah, that didn't happen by chance, it was destiny. Time for me to go. If you'll excuse me, there are still some loose ends that need wrapping up. Take care, Chief Prosecutor. And he fades like a ghost. Yeah, what are you gonna do now? Whatever you do, just remember, what happened in this trial can either make or break you as a prosecutor. In the end, it's up to you. Yes, you do owe your thanks to me. But what I face now is my problem. I'll be waiting for you in court. Yeah, you gotta go. I'll come visit you. Seems we both still have a lot to learn. Yeah, this is a little something for you. Scientific investigation. The first book you ever bought. Yay, more smiles! And so, another case came to a close. As for the sisters, I have faith. Faith that in that their lives have only just begun. Well, one of them's 16 and the other's 29. I hope their lives have just begun. As for me, I think it's time I started a new journey. Yes, to rediscover yourself? Okay. Well, Gumshoe's here. Don't go trekking off just yet. She isn't supposed to be out of jail like this. Yeah, I thought you said it was okay. Maybe okay with me, but folks at the prison are a different story. You had to bribe the guard in order to sneak her out for 30 minutes? Wow, I love the I love that they're the justice system. You can bribe people to get criminals out of jail, or suspected people out of jail. Way to go, detective. I didn't know you had a wild side. Yeah, well... Mr. Wright, oh, so I have to pay, okay. Does he, do I even make money? Ha ha ha. Ah, yeah, I am the best. I suddenly feel like I want to scream. Since we're all here, why don't we all go together and pay the dude who we bribed? Let's go! Objection! <laughs> Bullshit! <laughs> okay, so you arrange for a friend in Europe to take care of shit, and Emma's gonna go there. Did I, though? I defended frickin' Bot's Larry, who didn't pay me anything. I defended Mia's sister, who has no money. Um, what was the third one? Uh... I defended the Steel Samurai Will Powers guy, so that's fine. He probably had some money. Then I defended Edgeworth, so maybe he paid me. And then I defended the Chief Prosecutor, so maybe I get money from that. 
thought I was a goner for a moment there. In the end, though, they overlooked your unauthorized investigation. Because, you know, yeah. If we penalized you anymore, it'd be worse than firing you. Wow, that's dark. But I, I inherited that office. I just have to pay rent. Yep, unfireable, Gumshoe. <laughs> and there's Meekins. My new mission is to guard the main entrance and take care of Billy, the cactus. You believe it? I've been demoted to a security guard. I can't believe he got demoted. Your partner's keeping an eye on the entrance for me today. I'll show them, though. Someday I'm gonna make a detective. Uh, if you're a detective, that's sad. Then you can be just like that dick gumshoe. Okay. Hey, Blue Badger! And he fell over and now he's dead. Rip Blue Badger. Um. <laughs> what is it? Can't you see I'm having Mia showdown with a steak lunch? <laughs> it looks like you're shaving. She managed to sneak this in to me. She's seeing one of the guards, it seems. Oh, another boyfriend. Well, cowboy, looks like he did it. You even gave Bambina back her smile. Can you make sure Billy and the gang get their water? Yeah, I'll feed your cactuses, or I'll, I'll water your cactuses. Billy the cactus is a good name for a cactus, though. Let's be serious. Looks like we won't be seeing my hair flip anymore, each other for a while. As a farewell gift, I put a new meal on the menu, the right way lunch. The top layer tastes as bitter as defeat, but the bottom layer is as sweet as victory. Kids seem to dig the turnabout theme, the hot seller around exam time. Just make sure not to eat it backwards. And the judge. I'll never forget what that young defense lawyer said after the trial. Let's see, what was his name again? Mr. Left? <laughs> anyway, he said he's been doing or something or other for how many years? Well, anyway, I've got another trial to get to, so I better be... Huh? Oh no, I forgot my gavel. Sorry, I gotta go. Ah, judge. See you later, fella. Hey, it's Maya. Ah, nothing soothes the soul like a fresh, like fresh country air. So sometimes you miss hearing Nick and his objections. Still, I can't go back until I'm a full-fledged spirit medium. Yep, afternoon training time for you. Oh god, my Twitch just broke. See you around, Nick. Yeah. Oh my god, wow. Twitch is so broke. I can't see the chat right now, I apologize for that. It's so broken. I'll just read. Mr. Edgeworth. Oh. It's Bellboy. I brought you your tea. What's going on? Time to kill you. It says chat's disabled for this channel. That's weird. 
And now the server crashed. At least for me. I can't believe they're going to Yo Europe. <sighs> you just have to open the book. Is the server broke? Kid version of her. There we go. Looks like it fixed itself for me. All right, that's it. So I hope you guys managed to see that. Um, I'm sorry that the chat broke and I can't see anything. But yeah, I'll be back probably Friday doing maybe Mario Maker, maybe Super Luigi U, maybe a combination. Really depends on how I feel. Um, so until then, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day and uh, see you later. And once again, sorry if Twitch exploded. And I hope you saw this. If you didn't, then damn. Bye.